Have you ever experienced the death of a loved one? Most of us have. Can death be a good thing? Are you a better person today because of what you experienced when a loved one died? Join Sally on her emotional and uplifting journey of finding hope and renewed faith through prayer as she overcomes the tragedy of her father's death. Keep watching for deep-rooted help in finding faith in the wake of loss. Sally's world was turned upside down when her father passed away suddenly. She felt lost and alone, unsure of how to move forward without him. But as she sat by his bedside in the hospital, something inside her stirred. She found herself reaching out to a higher power in prayer. And as she prayed, she felt a sense of peace and comfort, comfort wash over her. How do, how do you turn to a higher power during difficult times? Are you looking for peace and comfort in your prayer life? What does your faith mean to you in times of grief and loss? Sally knew that her father was in a better place and that she would one day be reunited with him. From that moment on, Sally found renewed faith and strength in her religion and she knew that her father would always be with her, guiding her on her journey through life. This powerful and emotional story teaches us that in times of grief and loss, it is important to find a source of strength and comfort to help guide us through. Grief can be overwhelming, but know that your loved one is now in a better place than they were when they were in pain and suffering. Take comfort in knowing that they will always be with you in spirit and memories Lean on your faith, family, and friends for support. Remember to take care of yourself and give yourself time to grieve. You are not alone in this difficult time, and there is hope for healing and peace. For Sally, this time of healing and renewal came in the form of prayer and her faith. Sally teaches us that when we turn to something greater than ourselves, we can find the peace and hope that we need to carry on and work through our grief. And it also teaches us that the people we lost will always be with us, guiding us through our journey. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. I will lift up mine eyes into the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Have you ever wondered why God allows loved ones to suffer and die? God allows death to be a part of our lives and it is part of his plan for us. Through death, we learn important life lessons such as cherishing the time we have, forgiving and finding redemption and the power of faith and prayer in tough times. We also learn to trust in God's plan and rely on him for comfort and strength. Death can also remind us to live a purposeful life, make an impact and focus on what truly matters such as love and making the most of our time. In the days and weeks that followed, Sally found comfort in her faith and in prayer. She knew that her father was still with her, guiding her 
and watching over her. And because of her faith in God and eternal life, she took comfort in the knowledge that they would one day be reunited in heaven. As a tribute to her father, Sally decided to channel her grief into something positive. She started volunteering at a local hospital and became a counselor for people who were going through a similar loss. She found that helping others helped her heal too. She also started a journal in which she wrote down all of the memories she had with her father so she could always remember him. Sally's story is a powerful reminder that in the darkest hours of grief and loss, there is always hope. And that hope can be found in faith, in prayer, and in the love and support of those around us. Her journey of healing was not an easy one, but she knew that with the love and guidance of her father and her faith, she would make it through. If this video has helped you, please subscribe to my inspiration channel and leave a comment. Thanks for watching. This is Reverend Bill for Stories for You Inspiration. Click the link in the top comment for prayer and faith resources for you today.